In this video, we're going to talk about angels and demons. As far as this year goes, being 2013, this is the angel so far on a daily basis for the year. Um, and I am again going to remind you that we're trying to uh, promote the idea that the techniques that we use can be used in all different time frames. So a lot of times we refer to them in the smaller charts, the intraday patterns, but I also use them to give myself perspective on the bigger look. So this is the angel for the year. Until that low is gone, that's support. And I've made the um, prognosis that until 38 gets beat, uh, shorts can be squeezed. And so far, that's still what we've got. That has never been beat. That is still support. And it is still driving long side. This was a demon that got taken out. Until the high gets taken out, that is still in control. Get a good solid down bar right into support. Pushes back up. And then we're flying again. So we no longer have a demon for the year. So that is the perspective on the larger basis right now, just to, to introduce the angels and demons idea on a larger scale. For intraday trading, we try to identify a bar, whether it is long or short, that's either white for the long side, or a doji, or a black bar, or a doji for the short side. So the demon would be this bar initially, on a five minute RTH chart. And this would be our angel. And until that low is violated or that high is violated, we have range trading. The angel is born to test the demon and vice versa. So as long as this low is intact, <clears throat> professional traders will be trying to enter anywhere with this support bar intact and normally they will try, especially a professional trader of larger size, will try to have entry a tick or so above this. And as long as the bottom of this bar is intact, they'll be in that trade going away from that low. Sometimes we need to use a money stop if it's a very large bar and we cannot use uh, the entire length of it. And depending on our size and our risk parameters, most smaller traders will not trade the same way the big boys. We look to get into that trade and hope for them to push us. So we are already looking for neighborhoods that we think one is going to form. And that is in, our, in, in and of itself and could take an hour to talk about. So it's beyond the scope of this video, but that's, those details are covered in, uh, in greater depth in our entire course system. The, Demon, also, we know once we get started down and, and we have left people at the altar up here, till that high is gone, uh, nothing good will happen for the long side in, by way of a breakout. So all day long after this push, it chews, it chews with the goal of this bar trying to get back up and test first <clears throat> the first side of it, the low end of it. And then if it can and is not rejected, we'll try to actually take that bar out and knock stops. If you're looking at it from the perspective of the Globex view, which we do need to do, we want to know what happened outside of RTH hours. So in this context, uh, the very first bar that is a setup bar is 36 and a quarter. And that's the support um, underneath this particular demon uh, angel right here, uh, this support bar. And you can see it in the RTH trading where it will bleed back to it. This just happened to, to, to be um, a, a significant uh, pullback to support. And then with about a point or two of risk, bounces right back to come up here. So great math involved. Uh, many other things like a trend line we could see here that, that go along with it. So they don't operate by themselves. They operate as one more tool um, to use with all the other tools that we have. But the, the real key to the demon, look to see that the feet of the demon right here, we set the line right there. 
we set it at the head of the angel, and then we draw a box in between. Uh, one quickie about the reversal process, a lot of times if, a, if we're moving in a trend type trade, we will continue to bump a demon up. If it's trend down, we'll be knocking out angels and you'll see them continually being knocked out. That's the sign of a trend day. Range day is when they'll just chop back and forth, just trying to test each other, going nowhere. And a lot of times stay within a tick or two or just above it, but they'll reference that line. So we would be looking at this as, say, the 45 area. And obviously we would be looking at uh, this 39 to 38 area uh, basis, uh, the 36 right below it here. So, so that's the art of using the angels and demons. Uh, this is not an individual technique that I developed. It's one that I read about by Kevin Haggerty. I fully acknowledge that uh, he is a master who I learned this from. He calls them signal bars. And uh, I've studied that, and I think I've learned uh, to apply some of his techniques to my trading. And I'm very grateful to have learned that lesson from him. So I pass it on to you. This is a very valuable uh, part of our tool chest. And if you take the time to review this video several times, I think the points will sink in. Take care, and uh, thanks again for watching the E-Mini Woody.